Hello and welcome to this quick overview of what's new in the latest version of Odin. So in this version we have created a new enum dropdown system. So instead of creating a giant list, you now have a searchable list that you can just type into. For example, grab the delete key. This also works with enum flags, so you can also select multiple and you can also create custom filters, as you can see below. This is a huge time saver and we hope you like this feature. Another new feature in Odin is selectors. You can now create selectors through code which allow you to pick and select an object from the list. By default there are enum selectors, generic selectors and type selectors. Here you see an example of a type selector. Because serialization can be a tricky matter we have included a debugger. If you go to tools, Odin inspector and serialization debugger you can now choose a type and see which fields will be serialized and which won't. On top of that, the serialization debugger will also check for faulty configurations. If you click the button, you can choose any type and see which fields would be serialized and which wouldn't. To make serialization even more rugged, we've also included a new type binder. This essentially allows you to, to bind the old name of a type to the new name. Assume you would refactor your, your class and change the type name to something new. In this case, Odin would not know what the new type name is and all the serialized data might get lost. To prevent this, you can now create a binder which will tell Odin what the old name was and where it needs to find the new type name. This way, all your serialized data will persist between refactoring. We've also included a new sample project. If you click the Open Sample Projects and click the RPG Editor window, you can see the new window included in the latest version. Keep in mind that this is just a test and a proof of concept and not an actual functional inventory system. Here you can see what an inventory system could look like using the power of Odin. Items can be tracked, there's a remove bar at the bottom, and we can also assign stats and have clean animations, overviews of the items, and characters for an RPG game. That's it for this quick update, we hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave them below in the comment section. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.